I've been working with World of Tanks and they've sponsored me to recreate an all-terrain vehicle concept from the 1950s called the Rhino. And the unique feature about this vehicle was its huge hemispherical wheels. I got myself a little one-ton dumper, stripped of all its parts, tilted the axles at 15 degrees, and then built these bulbous beauties. Now then, is it going to do what the original inventor wanted it to? And the more it sinks into the mud, the more traction it gets. Let's go and test it. Let's go and find some mud. This is Optimistic Colin. Optimistic Colin is looking forward to testing this wonderful looking machine. Only Optimistic Colin is a fool. Optimistic Colin is going to have a bad day. Oh, I didn't think about how you get in it, did I? So, squeezed into the machine, I drove it down to this water-filled ditch to give it its first off-road test. Well, that was, that was full of water a week ago. But not deterred, I carried on, as it was still kind of muddy. Now, things weren't looking too bad. You know, we was making progress, the wheels were turning, but then we got to what is this machine's arch nemesis. The slight gradient. Back we go. What is that noise? I've no idea what that noise is. Ah! I think I'm stuck. <laughs> Basically, it won't crawl up this very slight hill, which is not great, but it's not the problem of the wheel concept. The original inventor's idea is still sound. I'm calling him the original inventor, can't pronounce his name. Now, if all four wheels turn, this thing would plough out of here, no problem. But my donor vehicle, little hydraulic dumper, had a lot smaller wheels on. We put huge wheels on. It basically doesn't have the torque to spin them. Hydraulics are just pumping oil. It can't do it. It's saying, no, Colin, no. So I'm going to have to try and get it out here and go and attack something slightly more on the level. With the telehandler at full reach, lifting the 800 kilo machine was causing the back wheels to flick up in the air. But we got it out, so where next, Colin? Water. Water's flat and the original inventor intended these massive bulbous wheels to actually help the vehicle float, you know, the amount of displacement they give. Now, my vehicle is quite heavy, so I don't think it'll ever float, but it's certainly going to help. Oh, we're in the river! Oh, yes! Go on, Colin! We were moving. The only thing that could stop me now, it felt like, was bushes. Damn you, Hawthorne! Well, I feel he's doing a lot better in the river. Oh, my God, it's getting deep here. Oh, it's all coming in! We've got water! Right, let me just uh, reverse back a minute. Okay, this thing's definitely at home in the river, but is it going to get out of the river? No, no, it's the answer. Three, two, one. Colin first! <laughs> Very nice jump, Colin, but this machine still hasn't ended a test without the use of a JCB. Cut to commercial. World of Tanks is a free-to-play online action game. And if you love tanks, there's over 300 of them at your disposal to control in a range of environments. Now, you can go in stealth and sneaky, or you can go in fast and smash everything up in your path. It's up to you. And there's a huge community playing it as well. Now, if you use my link in the description and my download code, oh, you're going to get yourself free tanks, 250,000 credits, and seven days premium access. Boom! What's better than that? And you won't get stuck like me. Right, how am I going to get out of this situation? OK, this is all very nice. It falls into ditches. It goes splashing through the river. But we've not really tested it yet, because let's face it, everything we've done, we can do quite easily, if not better, on the quad. So I'm thinking, when I did the screw tank video, there was a bog up at Tom's, which I went in in the screw tank, and that was proper sloppy. It was flat, so hopefully we haven't got any hills to worry about. I think we should take it in there. Armed with my wellies on, see how we do with this one. I don't think this thing works, does it? <laughs> oh, my 
welding on the roll bar is obviously good. Well, I'm in new territory here, people. For the 16 years I've been uploading projects to YouTube, ever since the wall of death made out of pallets back in 2007, this is the first thing I think I'm actually gonna have to class as a complete failure. Yes, it looks absolutely brilliant. I could see this driving around on Mars. I could see Dr. Robotnik bombing around in it. It looks like something that the leader of the Daleks would drive around in. And it's a little bit like a Dalek itself. You know, they were kind of menacing, but they couldn't go upstairs. And this can't, this can't do a lot at all. Now I did try a few things, drain the oil out of it, check that, put some new oil in, didn't make a difference. And I thought, right, let's put the old wheels back on. And if it still doesn't climb up banks with the old wheels, and I know I've broken something. So I swapped them over. And when you saw the old wheels next to the new big ones, you realize how big these new ones are. And obviously that is the main problem with this. I've put two bigger wheels on it basically. So I swapped them over, sure enough, it worked just as it did before, nothing's broken. I thought I'll take it for a thing. I still got it stuck. Now I've asked way more of this dumper than it was ever designed to do and it's done well to do what it's done really, but it was the design of the wheels which inspired me to do this project. Now I can see the logic in the fatness. When you're driving into the mud, you do feel like, yes, this is the way forward. However, you have to tilt them 15 degrees and this is one of its downfalls. If you do a sharp turn, the inner wheels will pick up and you feel like it's just gonna roll over on them. Also, the reason why the army never took on this design, of course, if they get shot and pierced, they can fill up with water. And I didn't get shot, but even through a tiny little weld hole with me sat in the river, I filled one of them half up with water, so I understand their concerns. Now, I wouldn't normally uploaded this because it doesn't work, but you know, it is good show your mistakes and we can all learn from it, but also you guys can have a bit of fun with it. I sort of want you to roast me in the comments about this. Now keep it clean, because I'm going to pick the best ones and put them on my Instagram page for everyone to look through. Go follow me there, of course. And there we are. So, you know, have a go. But what about the pros? I mean, I've mentioned it looks good, which it does. It can go through prickles. Ah, prickles! Yep, prickles. Now then, of course, thank you for World of Tanks for sponsoring this. They've made this wonderful waste of time possible. Use your link, get your free stuff, boom. We love it. Now, normally I'd ask for your subscription, but I'm not sure if I've earned it with this video. I'll let you decide. Right, see you in the next one, which I promise will work. Oh, I can't even walk past it without blooming trip. Ah!